pay off your 30 year mortgage in five to seven years. That is right. That is true. This is not the old bait and switch. I promise you. All right. So how's it done? First of all, take all the cash that you have and pay off the loan immediately. It's not about that, but it is about paying extra. So bear with me and here we go. Getting a new 30 year mortgage today, if you made one extra principal payment per year, that payment being equal to your mortgage payment, let's say your mortgage payment is $2,000. You make your mortgage payment every month for every month for 12 months a year, right? But one extra time for that year, so 13th month, right? You pay an additional $2,000 directly towards principal. You just knocked 10 years off your loan. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Now, don't believe me? Ask the Excel sheet. Don't believe me? Ask your calculator. If you don't believe me, I wish you would. Now, it might actually be eight years or maybe it's nine or is it seven? But look, the point being is once you see that you can pay $2,000 once per year and you can knock 10 years off your loan, tell me you're not going to do 2,500, right? Tell me right now, because if you're telling me that you're a liar. Now, it's now <clears throat> you can do this monthly, take $2,000, divide it by 12 and pay that. It's not quite $200. What is it? 150? No, it's a little more about $175. Look, I don't have my calculator out or otherwise I'd be trusting it because trust me, the math works. You could do this with your car payment too, by the way, but that's for another video and probably another channel. We're talking about houses here. Now that we've just knocked 10 years off our loan, let's keep it easy. Let's knock another 10 years off. Okay, you get a tax return every year. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do because you bought a house and yep, you file your taxes. Tax return money, right to equity. Hmm? Does your mom give you a birthday gift every year? <laughs> right to equity. Now it's like, oh, it's easy for him to say any extra money you put towards principal. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. So you need to think a little bit more than just extra $100 and $200 a month. Maybe I could afford um, a little bit more tax return, birthday gifts. Think about it. All right. So anything more than that, you pay your house off quicker. Now, if we weren't willing to do that, all I'm willing to do is pay one extra mortgage payment per year. And I want to know what else I can do because you said you're going to make a video about it. Here you go. Listen, listen closely. One scenario would be an equity line of credit. Now, hear me out. House is worth 200,000, say 300,000. You're building equity in the house. With an equity line of credit, your first mortgage payment is $2,000. The next month you owe a little bit less it might be 1975, but it's not $2,000. Why? Because the line of credit works like a credit card works as it sounds. You only pay interest on what you borrow. House is worth 300,000. I've got $200,000 mortgage against it. Go get an equity line of credit, pay off the mortgage. Now I still have a mortgage and I'm still used to paying $2,000. But next month, I only have to pay 1975. Well, instead of doing that, pay 2000. You're already used to doing it. Now you still have to make that extra mortgage payment every year, but because you paid down some of what you borrowed, they don't charge you as much, but you still pay the same amount. Hint, hint, wink, wink, boom, another 10 years. Now, as you're building equity, you're going to make sure that you have the best interest rate. One point of interest could be in that $2,000 scenario to $300,000 price point could be as much as a hundred to $200, maybe 250, maybe as low as a hundred dollars. As you gain equity, you'll have a more attractive asset. You'll be more attractive <laughs> to people, right? So you will actually have a more attractive asset and you will actually be wanted by more meaning Banks will be crawling all over you to give you a better interest rate. And you could switch out your interest rates as much as you want because they're only paying off the principal. Get yourself a lower rate. Keep paying your original payment. Hello, another 10 years. Now, I just turned 30 years into zero. It's really not as quick and as fast and as exactly how I put it, but it's all in the math. It's all legal. 
and it all can be done. Now, if you're having any questions or any problems with what I say, give me a call or you can put a comment there or send me an email or send us a text and we'll be happy to walk you through it. I'll be happy to run a scenario on your specific scenario as well. All right, so everything sounds so wonderful and boy, gee whiz, everybody's gonna run out and do this now. What are some of the pitfalls, the downsides of it? The equity lines of credit, as an example, those interest rates may fluctuate. Now we wanna have a rate that doesn't fluctuate. So how do we do that? We gotta call a lot of banks. Now there are a lot of great banks out there and there are a lot of banks that aren't great <laughs> too. Just like everything, I guess. But so you wanna make sure we get either a rate that doesn't fluctuate. Maybe you would pay a little more for that, meaning uh, we'll give you a 5% or 4% or 6% rate, but uh, if you want it to be fixed, it's going to be you know 5.5 or 4.5 or 6.5 would be a point, half a point higher. I would definitely go for that because a lot of the equity lines of credit, as the rates go up in prime rate, as you may or may not know, as rates go up, where Fed, the Fed, which is a cleverly named bank, actually has nothing to do at all with the federal government, hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, FYI. So anyhow, as the Fed raises the rate, as the prime rate gets raised, so does your rate on your equity line of credit. But we can always refinance that when we find something better or somebody better that treats us a little better. You may want to consider doing an equity loan, but it doesn't work the same way. Your equity loan, your payments are fixed, just like a mortgage. The line of credit, where you pay down your principal every month as well, and you owe less each month. Another downfall, pitfall, whatever, is there are a lot of companies out there that, that claim that they can set this up for you uh, for a fee. And, and it works. I mean, I'll help you set it up for you without a fee. <laughs> and there are a lot of institutions that will help you set it up for you. Help you set it up for yourself. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. For, without a fee. Now, you can certainly go pay a fee, but the fees that you're paying, you may not actually be putting that fee towards your principal, if you follow what I'm saying. The easiest way to make this happen is make an extra mortgage payment per year. You knock seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 years off your loan. As the value of your house goes up, you, the, the debt to income, meaning the amount of money I owe on a house, or I should say loan to value, the amount of money I owe on a house versus the value of the house is also, there's a wider gap. As the gap gets wider, you can get into a better scenario for yourself. Perhaps you change it over to a 15 year loan. If you gain enough equity, you can get a, a lower term loan. Payment is the same as a 30 year because of the amount of equity that you've gained. Again, it's all math. So traditionally buy a house, make an extra payment, put some more extra payment to it. Do that for about three, four, five years. If you have PMI, private mortgage insurance, that will fall away quicker. Then we look to maybe refinance the loan into a lower rate or an equity loan, home equity loan with a lower rate, fixed rate, fixed terms. And we would also maybe look at an equity line of credit or maybe a blend of the two. So if you have further questions, let me know. If you don't have further questions, let me know. While you're letting me know, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can get notified of all the great ideas that we have here on our channel and in the greater Philadelphia area. I'm Gregory Martier, a local real estate expert. Hit that like button if you found this information useful. And if you did not find this information useful, hit that like button and also leave us a comment. Have a great day, everybody.